Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Bei Feng Xiong Zhi" by Yi Ming or by Anonymous, a Bei Wind poem from the Book of Songs. The normal interpretation for this poem is sort of the blaming or complaining poem, complaining, blaming to the Lord who always. Outside in the far frontier area, for wars, for conquering the new land, and thus the woman, the wife, has such a strong complaint that the husband always not around, and、uh, the husband、uh, is careless to the family, is careless to herself. Well,、uh, from my In the British, this poem is just like the poem "Bei Feng Ri Yue," the Bei Wind, Sun and Moon, or the Bei Wind, Jian Xi. Ah,、uh, it's sort of the memorial to the previous dynasty by a previous ah、uh, dynasty's lord, namely a lord of Shang's memorial to the Shang dynasty. Well. At present, when he was writing the poem, it, the dynasty, the Zhou dynasty, is not the dynasty of their Shang people, and、uh, they feel such a sorrow, and they express such a strong、uh, feelings or sorrows or their memorial feelings to their previous lord, to their previous glory. Before we go to the poem, let's. Have some of the very important background for this poem. The title Xiong Zhi is the bird of feathered. It's a very common bird along the at least along the Yellow River. The most outstanding character for this bird is the long tail, colorful long tail, and the two outstanding feather、uh, at the back. Of his head, so this is the two very outstanding characters for this bird. And another important background is the Shang people、uh, believe their ancestors, the very uh, originate uh, ancestor of Shang people, is the a bird. 玄鸟 the black bird, or someone believed is. Black and red bird. Actually, for now,、uh, we still don't have a very clear idea what kind of bird it is. But today, through this poem, I believe the xuanyao, the black bird, the very ancestor of the Shang people, is the feathered bird. We can see that from this. Poem, and also from the very recent archaeology,、uh, today found in the tomb of the Shang noble people a queen, and uh, the ve- most important uh, statue made of jade is just like just a bird. There are many、uh, statues, small jade statues of bird, but the archaeologist.、Uh, Believe this is the most important one, and the, look at this jade bird. It has a long tail. It has the、uh, outstanding feather at the back of its head. Is it like the、uh, feathered bird? I believe so. And、uh, so, from the archaeologist's point of view,、uh, it could be the phoenix. Or it could be the、uh, xuanyao, the black bird, the ancestor bird. And、uh, okay, let's see for, after we、uh, go through this poem. Is this the、uh, xuanyao, the feathered bird, is the ancestor of the Shang people? Xiong Zhi yu fei, xie xie qi yu, the male feathered. Was flying in the air. Its wings blows very smoothly and、uh, slowly. The words 谢谢 describe the wings, 
blowing in a way of smooth and slowly way. So that's、uh, how the、uh, pheasant fly. It is. I have saw that in the wild.、Uh, so that's what exactly it looks like. 我只怀疑自疑一组。So what I'm thinking about, what made my me so many feelings, sorrows, things I went to the ancestors of E. 我只怀疑 is very simple. I I I have a lot of feelings. I had a lot of thinkings or sorrows. Anything in the mind. 自 things. E means went to, get to, arrived. Uh, the second e, the third word in the fourth sentence, e is a very important character.、Uh, today we call it e yin, and、uh, most of time it was he was called e. He was one of the most key founders of the Shang Dynasty. Zhu here could be explained in two ways. Normally it what was explained as a very A high、uh, hill or a very steep hill, so which、uh, stop your ways. And here, Zhu actually、uh, is the borrowed long word of the Zhu ancestors. So here, Yi Zhu is make,、uh, refers the things very clearly. The ancestors' temple of Yi or ancestor temple of Yin. So here,、uh, let's review the first paragraph again. Let's see if it、uh, if it doesn't make sense. So I went out to the wild, and I saw the male pheasant was flying in the air in a very elegant, slowly way, like a king. So. I have a lot of feelings. I feel sorrows. I feel sad since I arrived to the ancestors' temple of Yin. Well, in the Zhou Dynasty,、uh, even they、uh, destroyed the Shang Dynasty, but they still assigned a, a, a piece of land for the Shang laws.、Uh, Where they can still serve their ancestors, and they have their temples for the Shang ancestors. So this also may, uh, uh, makes the sense as well. The second paragraph, Xiong Zhi Yu Fei, Shang Xia Qi Yin. The male pheasant was flying air. The sun was up and down. So it describes the. Many pheasants, because、uh, if you saw the pheasant was flying, it flies very straight, smooth, and slowly. It doesn't make it up and down. So if you hear the sound up and down, there are a bunch of male pheasant was flying. They're flying.、Uh, some was flying high. Some was flying low. So that's、uh, what the、uh, situation. I thought about. 斩衣君子，使劳我心。So 斩 normally was interpreted、uh, by the Han scholars as honest. So the lords are very honest, and、uh, they are the people that worried me and made me sad. So there is two things. Zhan could be interpreted another way that if you saw that Jun's、uh, Xie Lao, Zhan is a very very magnificent、uh, clothes for the kings for the queens. So if we interpret the Zhan as the clothing, the very delicate clothing for the king and queens. Uh, we can imagine that because the poet saw the very colorful and very elegant、uh, male pheasant was flying, so he thought about the glorious,、uh, the very outstanding、uh, outlook of the previous king of Shang.、Uh, 
he wear the most、uh, elegant, most magnificent clothing of Zhan. So that's all the glory they had in the Shang Dynasty. And、uh, all those past glories made the poet very sad. So the Lao actually,、uh, the very original meaning is "busy out." So、uh, if we translate the fourth sentence in the second paragraph, it means all the things, the male feathered, the、uh, the the th- the memor- memories of the past glories made the peasant, the heart, busy out. Uh, actually, it's because in the very very ancient time, there's not much characters to describe sadness. There's so many characters you can use. So,、uh, you can see always see Lao,、uh, which means actually it could be any feelings. It could be a sad feelings, or it could be a very worried feelings, or it could be something very anxious, angry. Could be any things. So,、uh, when you Uh, need to to pinpoint what kind of feelings the Lao refers to. You should、uh, go to the context. So in this、uh, poem from the first and second paragraph, we can interpret the Lao as very sad, sorrow, and、uh, very disappointed because the、uh, the people, the Shang people, and the poet's family. Uh, used to be a very glorious, powerful、uh, Shang Dynasty, and everything has gone. Now the third paragraph. Zhan bi ri yue, yu yu wo si. So I look to the moon, sun, and I look to the moon. So I have a very long and pro- profound thinking. So here it actually it makes. Uh, it more clearly, we had another poem, uh, 日月 So the 日月 was interpreted as the、uh, Shang Dynasty, and also、uh, in the ancient China, 日月 is an alternative、uh, name of the heaven. The heaven is everything, and the king is something,、uh, someone between the heaven. And、uh, the people, the majority peoples, and、uh, he hear from the、uh, heavens, and then he with the heavens order he、uh, rule all the people, rule all the country. So you can feel from this sentence that this one, this poet, used to be a、uh, someone because he looked to the heavens. Just imagine if you are average people. Uh, there's no need, or actually, you are not allowed to look to the heaven because that was only dedicated. The heaven was only belonged to the、uh, kings. It's the king's privilege to look to the heaven and hear from the heaven from the god. 道之云远，何云能来 ？I want go for the sun and moon. But it go around and getting far away from me. So how can it go around and come back? So this is actually a very uh, tricky uh, sentences as far as how you interpret the key word yun. So yun normally has the two interpretations. One is It means nothing. The other、uh, is it equivalent as saying. But if you look to the very original form of the, this character, actually the yun means go around. So as far as the subject is the sun and moons, let's think about this paragraph again. I look to the sun and moon, and I have a very long and profound thinking and feelings. And、uh, I want to go for the sun and moons, which means I want to recover the previous glory, to recover the power of the Shang Dynasty. But 
the sun and moon was always go around, and it's getting far away. So this actually has implicated that implied that the current situation is this: the heaven has go far from the Shang people. It's it belongs to the Zhou people, belongs to the Zhou dynasty already. He Yun Neng Lai. So. But he still he has some of the hope,、uh, when and how the sun and moon can go go around and come back. So this is an, another very common philosophy for Chinese because the Chinese believe the、uh, the order of the heaven has always go around. Today the the order the the heaven is the Zhou people and maybe. Uh, hundreds years later, it will be、uh, go back to the Shang people or go to another names.、Uh, and the, the heaven, the country will go to、uh, another names. So the third paragraph is very,、uh, very clearly. They still has、uh, and more detailed what the profound thinking and sorrow for the Shang people. Because they still know, or they have the knowledge to rule the countries, because they used to rule the country for quite a while, and they look to the sun and to the moon, and they know that's the key point to rule the country, to rule the people, and、uh, he know the current situation is the sun and moon go around and is away from the Shang people, but he still.、Uh, Imagined or hope someday, some year,、uh, the rule of the、uh, country, the heaven's order, will come back to the、uh, Shang people, to、uh, to the poet or poet's family. The third paragraph, 白尔君子不知德行 So here actually is the blaming, and it's how the interpretations from the Han scholars and Song scholars uh, they uh, judge this poem is a blaming poem. It is, of course, it's a、uh, blaming. 白尔君子不知德行 So your hundreds of laws. Uh, you never know the virtue, and you don't know how to achieve the virtue. Do is the virtue to make good to the people, to the、uh, heaven, and Xing is the ability、uh, or the activity to achieve the virtue, to achieve the goodness. 不知不求，何用不赞 We are not powerful now. We don't pray to the heaven, don't pray to the ancestors. No wonder we are still in such a misfortune, a bad luck, or bad situations. 不赞 last two character means as misfortune, uh, uh, not good, bad luck. So, uh, 何用 actually is 用何 So, we, we, what, what thing we can do? By doing what can we、uh, change our misfortune, the status of misfortunes? So that's the last、uh, sentence. 不智，智 is powerful. So this is my interpretation to this character. The normal expression is harmful. 不求，求 is pray.、Uh, so in reality, the Zhou people actually allowed the Shang people have their Uh, ancestors' temple, so they still can go to the temple to pray to the、uh, Shang ancestors and God. And、uh, like the very beginning of this poem, the poet himself go to the uh, Yi uh, temple, uh, the ancestor temple of Shang people, and uh, uh, it looks like he was alone because. He said, 不知不求 nobody else、uh, of the Shang people pray to the heaven to 
、uh, pray to the ancestors,、uh, which actually reflects、uh, status, and、uh, also that's the main reason why the poet was in such a fury,、uh, such a sorrow, and、uh, such a sadness. And、uh, from the last paragraph, we can see the first pair of sentence. The complaint is to their ancestors,、uh, the hundreds laws of the、uh, Shang Dynasty. You don't have the virtue, you don't do good, so that's why you lost the power, the fortune,、uh, and、uh, the people, the current Shang people, is in a very, very、uh, misfortune situation, in a bad situation, because of the, all those. Hundreds of laws of Shang Shang laws, and the second pair of sentence in the fourth paragraph actually is a very very strong blaming and fury expressed to the current Shang people. So our ancestor has lost the, all the power, the glory, and、uh, the fortune、uh, already, but we still our people still there, and with the And temple the, is still with us. The ancestors' temple is with us, but your people never go to the ancestors' te- temple and pray for our fortune, for our our luck. So this is the uh, most uh, deepest uh, sorrow and sadness、uh, for the poet. Uh, go to the ancestor temple actually means everything for the Shang people as well as for the Zhou people. So,、uh, whenever they make a deal, make a law, or to make a, a big、uh, something big activities like、uh, to go to war, or declare a war, or anything, a marriage between laws, they always go to the ancestor temples. To、at that place, they make the agreement, have a divination to decide, go or no go, for that agreement. So you can imagine all the big things happened in in the ancestors' temple, and、uh, for this poem, the poet think or he ob- observed that. All other Shang people, they never went to the ancestors' temples, which means nothing big would happen for the Shang people, and they are not very well、uh, grouped or consolidated as a group of or political power. So.、Uh, Which means there is no hope for the Shang people to make a comeback. So actually, this poem could be also applied to the Zhou people. But for the Zhou people, there's two things not applic- applicable. First thing first, the paralleled image of the male pheasant.、Uh, that's only. Uh, for the Shang people, the ancestor of、uh, Shang people, and also, and、uh, in the Bay Wind,、uh, in which is in a time of the most powerful and glory time of the Zhou Dynasty. So, in the last sentence, it said, 不知不觉 we don't, we are not strong, and we don't pray. So this doesn't apply to the Zhou people as well, because in the Bay Wind time, the Zhou people is still in its、uh, most powerful time. So it's hard for the Zhou people to uh, uh, say themselves as not strong, not powerful, and also、uh, they keep going to the, their ancestors' temples. So it's Uh, there's no、uh, chance for the Zhou people to say I would never go to the、uh, ancestors' temple, and I don't see others go to the ancestors' ancestors' temples, and、uh, so that's why, and、uh, this is the main reason I interpreted this point as、uh, Shang. 
person, uh, some、uh, people used to be the lord or maybe the descendant from the Shang kings. The poet feels such a sorrow and、uh, sadness for their past glory, for their past kings, and、uh, he was in such a fury as well because. All the Shang people, they never go to the ancestors' temple, which means they are not consolidated. They are not determined. There is no planning for their recovery. Hopeless is the utmost sadness and sorrow. Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.